Madam Secretary, you want to do the roll call, please? Yes, sir. Um, Councilor Kalani here. Councilor Downer. Here. Councilor Lembo. Here. Councilor Levesque. Here. Councilor Lazat. Here. Councilor Orr. Here. Councilor Sullivan. Here. Councilor Van Scoy. Here. Chair Syrek. Here. Okay. Um, Pledge of Allegiance, again, in commemoration of the 60th anniversary of the Boy Scouts and in recognition of our stellar Boy Scout troops and organization in Hookson. We have a gentleman who would like to introduce himself and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Hi, I'm Joe from uh, Boy Scout 292 from Hookson. Uh, would you please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? Council, if anybody had any issues with the uh, council rules, and I got it's, it's not reflected in the minutes. And what would you like to add? When there was a question I had asked if there were any councils had a problem with any rules in the council, and nobody responded. So I would assume the council agrees with the rules of the council as it is. Yeah. Where did you want to have that? Uh, towards the end of the discussion we we're having on on the council rules, so uh, page eight. Just before the motion? Motion carried unanimously, yes. Oh, just before somewhere, the motion. Somewhere in there, I don't know exactly what. Okay. okay. Thank you. Any additional changes, corrections, additions? Okay, hearing okay. none. Yes? Uh, Chair, I just want a clarification on uh, Councilman Lindo's statement. What is the statement that's going to be placed into the minutes? You want to read it back? What's the actual statement? He asked if uh, everyone, if anyone has a, a question about the council rules. And that would be no one, no one, no one responded. No one responded. All right, but no one responded is not. I mean, it's not part okay. of the statement. Right, it's not part of the statement. Well, go ahead. Go ahead, Nancy, please. Would it be appropriate to ask um, everyone to listen to the tape and? Um, confirm what was said and Absolutely. Make sure it's, just to make sure um, what is in there is accurate. Sure. Sure. That'd be great. I think I think the intent, if I refer to you, I think you were trying to imply that everyone had read it and basically agreed with it. Would that basically your intent? Do we want to discuss that? Uh, that was the intent, well, I think. I don't know. Chief, we were just talking about the minutes. Yep. I don't want anything reflected in the minutes because there wasn't a vote taken. And you know, although the statement was made, there wasn't a motion to accept the rules. It was a it was a statement, just a broad statement. If yes. presume myself, I, I do have some questions about the rules, but only in regards to documentation. So I don't want anything broadly attributed to me, since I didn't make a comment in the minutes about if I like them or not. That's so <clears throat> that's fair enough. We, what we can do, if it's all right with the group, is we could have Councilor Lazat's comment. And obviously, it's a part of this minutes, and move forward with that. Is that reasonable? I think. I don't. I believe that they're on the agenda. They're on the agenda. Right? It's on the yep, agenda. That's right. Okay. Correct. All right. So, okay. All right. Any other additional changes, additions? All those in favor of uh, approving the minutes? Yes. No. So we we are approving adding that statement to that he made the state. He made the question. The open-ended question uh, basically was that. Did anyone have any objections or problems? I think is what she said, and no, and no one responded. And the minutes will indicate that no one responded. What? I, I, once again, the minutes should reflect nobody disagree. responded. Let's okay. Go. So what should they say? He made the statement. <laughs> How do we resolve yes. that? Mr. Chair, okay. Mr. Sullivan. Well, now we have to. Uh, if if the minutes, if we're going to respond to the minutes, just reflecting motions and not thoughts on uh, going into detail of what our discussion was, 
then that would be correct. But are we so we're going back again between uh, verbatim notes to official notes. So do we? So if we're only going to put in uh, uh, Jim moved something, Todd seconded on this issue, and so forth, then fine. But I think we're we're going complete opposite of verbatim to minimal. And I think that created a problem last time because the public weren't, didn't really know what our thoughts were. So, so if we're going to do somewhere in the middle, and if Benny actually visited Limbo, saying, uh, does anyone have a particular question, I don't think that would be a problem. So I don't know which, which end we're going to. So Good that points. would be my question is. Further discussion? Mr. LeVay? He made the statement, and we don't put anything in about that we respond because Nobody did respond. If somebody responded, it would be in the minutes. Okay. Okay. Just, nobody responded. Okay. That's fair enough. It was just okay. put it in. Okay. If everyone could just listen to the tape and put in whatever I said, yeah. that would be fine with me. Okay. There you go. All right. All right. All those in favor of approving the minutes with those corrections, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Most, most uh, minutes are approved. Uh, non public minutes of October 12th. I'll make a motion to accept. Second. Second. Discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Approved. Uh, agenda overview. We've got a full packed agenda. Uh, it looks like it should be a very productive and informative meeting. We're going to begin with, uh, so obviously, with the public input. 15 minutes. As we approach that, we'll talk about the rules. We've got a total of 15 minutes. Uh, this part of the agenda, and we'll have another 15 minutes later on in the agenda. Uh, we're asking everybody to limit their comments to about five minutes, and obviously the rules that we'll talk about in greater detail uh, further and into the agenda, but basically this is not an opportunity for the town council to enter into any kind of debate or questions or comments, but to listen to the public input, and we will do that. Uh, then we have nominations and appointments. Heritage Commission, Economic Development Committee, Parks and Recreation Advisory Board. It's my understanding we've got one uh, individual who's interested in the Heritage Commission, uh, but we have not received anything formal from the Economic Development, Parks and Recreation Advisory Board. Uh, we're going to have a presentation regarding the election board, town clerk, moderator, and supervisor of the checklist. A 15 minute break if we need it. Old business, town council rules and procedures, town boards, committees. This will be part of some of the discussion that we just heard. Uh, and all of these things really are, are connected because under new business, we're also talking about the roles and responsibilities and how we conduct public input. And again, the, the overall goal here, as discussed at the best boards wins, is to try to have a governance that is very, very productive and very respectful of each other. So it may sound like we're spending a lot of time talking about rules and procedures. The goal is to have uh, productive, professional, respectful discussion. So keep that in mind, and I think uh, some of the things we'll be talking about will result in that. Under new business, quarterly financial report, uh, press release policy, public input procedures, code enforcement officer, building inspector update, complaint procedures, self-evaluation process, and a 2011 tax rate, followed by the town administrator's report, subcommittee reports, another opportunity for 15 minutes for public input, and then a non-public session uh, if necessary. So a full agenda. So why don't we move right into nominations and appointments. Heritage Commission. Public, 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 public input, I'm sorry. Public input. We have public input. Welcome back, Mr. Pearl. David Pearl, 79 Main Street. Please consider this my formal complaint against Hooksett Town Council Chairman Bill Syrek. I feel that the chairman acted inappropriately and contrary to town council rules at the October 12, 2011 meeting. The following is a list of those inappropriate actions resulting in disrespectful behavior toward a citizen he is supposed to be representing. Number one, prior to my speaking at the meeting, the chairman received a copy of town council rule G from another counselor. Immediately upon seeing the document, the chairman said, and I quote, I understand this clearly and I am familiar with it. The chair tried to use this rule to restrict my comments. And then he made the statement, 
issues of which the council has governance over will be only thing be discussed. It was later pointed out by the vice chair that this rule did not apply to public input portion of the meeting. It was in fact the wrong rule he was being cited. Number two, when I attempted to point out that in my opinion and supported by the information that I had sent to the council prior to the meeting, that the chairman had made a false statement, I was gaveled down and ruled out of order. Later, the chairman explained, and I quote, one of the reasons I gaveled you down the second time was you had already started making demeaning remarks about me. I respectfully rebut to the chair's position. My claim and complaint is that by saying he made a false statement, I was not making demeaning remarks about his personality, and, it, and I was in accordance with the town council rules. Number three, the chair demanded, and I quote, remove yourself from this seat numerous times, rather than discussing the issue or simply allowing me to continue. In fact, the chairman should not be engaging in any debate and responses during public input per town council rules. Number four, in explaining why he gaveled me down, the chair said the following, and I quote, I received a number, I received a number of complaints and concerns from council members concerned, concerned about disparaging remarks, personality exchanges during public input, to a point where I know in the past people have resigned or not run for office because of those kinds of hostilities that have come out of public input." Unquote. I feel that these remarks were directed at me personally, yet I have never made a disparaging remark during public input. Once again, I cite town council rules, which prohibits rebuttal comments from being made during public input session, which were demeaning and I feel were intended for me. In closing, I feel that Chairman Syrek was overreaching in his authority as the chair and attempted to stifle my public statement. With his inappropriate interruptions, with his, interrupt, with his inter, inappropriate interruptions from his position of power. All of these inappropriate actions taken by the chairman are inconsistent with the standards of currently adopted council rules. Thank you. Thank you. Additional public input. Mr. Randall? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd just like to uh, thank the council members that attended our, the planning board's uh, land use workshop meeting on the 17th. Uh, I think we had a pretty good meeting. We got a lot of input from the council members, and the, uh, I think it went over pretty well. And I guess you can see now why I insist on having more meetings from different uh, organizations, the different groups in town, ZBA and conservation. And uh, it will probably help us to work a little closer together. But again, I want to thank you all for attending that meeting. It was great. Thank you. Additional public input. Oh, we're ready to move on. Nominations uh, and appointments. Heritage Commission, I understand we do have candidates. Is that correct? Uh, yes, we do. Um, we received a, uh, a uh, letter of interest from uh, Mr. David Rogers, who uh, not only wanted to volunteer for the planning board, also wanted to volunteer for the Heritage Commission. Uh, at last meeting, uh, there was a question on whether he could serve both, and he's able to do that, uh, according to what I've been told. Uh, so having someone who's not only willing to serve on one, but on two is certainly uh, exemplary. So based on that, and Mr. Rogers is in the bill, uh, is in that room, uh, I'd like to nominate uh, David Rogers for the Heritage Commission, and I also would later on like to weigh through for the two-week waiting period before we can appoint. And if it's all, if it's all right, and Mr. Rogers did uh, say he would like to, uh, if you'd like to say a few words, Mr. Rogers, that would be wonderful. Wonderful. If that's all right, Mr. Sure. Chairman. Right, David. Thank you for your interest in coming. Thank you for having me. Um, David Rogers, I live at 15 Mount St. Mary's, uh, Unit 203 in Hooksett. Um, as far as my interest on the Heritage Commission, in college, I was a history major. Grew up in a house in Salem, New Hampshire, built in 1770. Uh, I've always had an affinity for older properties, and part of the reason I'm living in Mount St. Mary's is because of that historic building. I've already spoken on a couple of occasions with Kathy <coughs> about my interest. 